Hi, all of you, and this is Dr. Vinayak Senthil. I'm a founder and a faculty of Speed Medical Institute, which runs a speed learning app. And uh, I'm basically a cardiothoracic surgeon, surgeon by profession. And uh, Speed Institute was started in the year 2002 and it has completed 20 years of its service for training students for post-graduation. Students who have finished MBBS to go for post-graduation and has completed its training for 20 years. And it has trained more than 2.5 lakh students across the country. So with a huge experience, I am here to share that what all important things that a student should have to be successful in this exam. And as a speed learning app offers you all the 19 subjects with subject experts and they are the experts uh, in their respective field and uh, they teach in a way that you will be able to understand not only with clarity but at the same time you will enjoy the subject. So I welcome you to subscribe uh, Speed Learning app for your postgraduate entrance exam preparation. And once you subscribe, my guidance and mentorship will always be there with you. And any point of time, if you have any, require any assistance and support, the respective subject faculty and myself as a course director will be there with you to uh, address you and to support you and fulfill your requirements. Now, I will share the experience of very many students that they have undergone in speed and how they have become successful, what are the challenges they faced and how they faced the challenges and how they overcome those challenges and have been successful. I am going to share uh, in every episode one story of one student that he, what are the strategies he uh, himself has adopted to win this competitive entrance exam which is happening in India. Let's get started. So I had a student and his aim was to get into MD pediatrics. And uh, he was a student. He said, I am from a private medical college. And he said, I am a very average student. I don't know whether I will be able to cope up and whether I will be able to do well and compete with the rest of the students to get into MD pediatrics. And I want to do in a respectful and respectable institution for MD pediatrics. That is my ambition in life. I said, it's quite possible. And with your systematic and disciplined hard work, definitely it is doable. So he studied for one year. And after one year of his preparation, he gave the exam of NEET. And after giving NEET exam, he could not qualify in that. And second year, he started his preparation. And once he started his preparation, he was more vigor, he was more hardworking and more enthusiastic to score this time because he has come to the repeater batch and he wanted to do it. And at this point of time, he gave the institute exams and he gave the All India NEET level exams. Unfortunately, he was not he was not able to clear it. And after two years of preparation, after giving two sets of exam, he came to me and asked, "Sir, will it be possible?" And very beginning, I said, "I am not a capable person to compete with all the students and to do for this exam. I am not even qualified. What should I do?" Should I stop here and go for work or should I do some DNB courses? And he said, even for DNB exam, I am not qualified. Yes. Then he went on to the third year of preparation. I said, we can't do anything other than preparing. So kindly prepare for the third year. He went for the third year of exam and end of the third year, 
he gave the institute exams he was not qualified and he gave the all india neat level exam he qualified he got a rank and he got a rank to get a diploma in pediatrics dch then he came to me and he asked me sir what should i do i told him you can take the diploma and you can simultaneously finish the diploma for 2 years and do a dnb in pediatrics so that will complete your career in pediatrics he said no sir my aim in my life is to do md pediatrics i will not be satisfied in doing diploma then he went on to the fourth year of his preparation and the fourth year of preparation you will not believe he got sixth rank in all india neat level exam and he got 13th rank in institute level exam and he chose through the neat all india level exam of ich institute of child health in egmore in chennai for md pediatrics so the moral of the story is number 1 his aim is to get md pediatrics he has got it but looking into the story you can see it has taken 4 years for him to do this and i asked him the same question when i want to facilitate him as i felicitated and i asked him was this 4 years not difficult for you and how did you go through this for 4 years he said sir at that point of time it was like that for me but when i got the md pediatrics within top 10 ranks in all india neat, neat level exam what more i want and i got md pediatrics in a respectful institute so now i am in my specialty no worries anyway i was preparing only medicine for all these years i didn't waste time so it is immaterial so today i am happy today what i have is more important and he has finished md pediatrics and is uh, very happy now what i am trying to tell you is at the end of the day what to be achieved is very important for that this student had a consistent a persistent effort to achieve what he wanted so they are all it might take for few of them 6 months few of them one year few of them for 2 years or 3 years even 4 years i have seen like in this uh, doctors preparation but what is more important is he didn't get deviated for anything less than md pediatrics that he wanted so what do you want and what do you intend to get and what is your dream you should achieve for that the number of years does not matter what do you achieve at the end of the day matters more so i wish you all the best and all the success and whatever is your dream branch definitely you all will get it and my wishes to all of you